if you guys want to know what I think about these lipsticks, keep watching. So, Nicki Minaj came out with a few lipsticks in collaboration with MAC, and I picked up seven of the lipsticks and uh, wanted to come on and try the lipsticks. So I posted these lippies online, not like individually, but I showed a haul video and like I tagged Nicki Minaj in the haul because I had the lipsticks in the picture. I got a request to come on and see how I wear them because a lot of women I know in person and via Instagram and stuff like that, they told me that the colors were a little too light for them. So they were curious as to see what I would do with it. But I'm a nude queen. I, I wear nudes all the time. So I understand from a woman's standpoint where you don't wear nudes, where I do every day. So it's a piece of cake to me. But I just want to come on and give you guys a few ideas of how to wear the lipstick. Now I have cork and I also have chestnut. Sometimes I wear one or the other or sometimes I mix them depending on how light the lipstick is. So I'm going to go in with one of the lipsticks that I will be including in my haul. This is from the Nicki Minaj collection from MAC. This is stripped. This is a matte lipstick. And it's pretty. I don't, I'm a nude kind of girl. I like nudes. I mean, I'll do my pinks and my blues and once in a blue moon, I will do that. But for the most part, I love nude lips. I mean, a lot of women came up to me and they're like, what you think about that? What you think about that? I like nudes. I know how to wear them. I'm not saying that they don't or she didn't know. It. Try it. You know what I mean? It's nice to just throw on a nude gloss and a liner and a nude lip and a liner and a gloss like I like nude lips so for me that's second nature like that's just what I do so I'm gonna be taking chestnut we all know what chestnut looks like and cork we all know what cork looks like I want to try this one this is called stripped I don't know if I said it this is stripped from the Nicki Minaj collection I'm gonna go with cork and just define the lip. Define that lip line. That. And I'm going to pop on the lipstick. I like this. Y'all know, y'all follow me on Instagram, you know I like a new lip. And even though it's a matte, it's creamy. It's not like it's, it's not easy to blend, it's creamy. So I'm just going to go around the edges a little bit more. With cork. I'm going to go in with chestnut just on the corners just to add a little bit more definition you see like it just <laughs> I know I just said on the corners but I wanted to do that <laughs> is so pretty like you would not want this so pretty and I just did my hair just for the video I didn't even like style it I didn't even cut it because you already know I come to slay when it comes to hair I didn't do anything to this hair I just wanted something to hold me over for the video because I'm I didn't want to do my hair but I'm going to perfect my hair and everything. But this is not a hair video. I'm trying to get off the hair. But yeah. um, I like it. Throw on a gloss. Mess your head all the way up. So this is under the sheets. It's a shimmer. Peachy. 
I'm just going to add a little bit just right there. Boom. Done. She's slaying. This is beautiful. So I just want to go in and I want to try the pink print. So the pink print is super pink. So I'm going to go in with cork and just line my lips. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, I have two of her lip glosses. I got nude and under the sheets. Um, I know it was five glosses in the collection. I got two. I think there's three new glosses and two repeats. So I'm not sure. I have to double check. I should have checked yesterday, but I was like, that's the last thing that was on my mind. So yeah. So I'm just going to go in. Actually, I grabbed chestnut by mistake. Oopsie. So let me just add a little bit of chestnut because my lips are not going to be uniform and even. But I'm going to grab chestnut. And with these lipsticks, I feel like you can do the gloss on top or alone or mix it with the lipstick. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but we'll figure it out. And if you hear any howling, the window is open and it's pretty windy today. I don't know why. But yeah, I'm going to go in with the pink print. This is the pink one. I'm just going to blend them two together. Go back in with some other lips. The liner? I want to say the lipstick. I already did the lipstick. Duh. But I've been feeling like all day. So my brain is fried. So this is the pink print with a little bit of cork and a tad bit of chestnut because I mixed up the liners. But if I wanted to, I would add under the sheets just to give me a little zhuzh. And this is pretty. So this is under the sheets the print print and basically cork liner and I would be fine with this <laughs> but yeah this is what it looks like I would wear it every day if I wanted to because this is the kind of look that I basically go for every day anyway so yeah this is the pink print under the sheets and cork lip liner so yeah it's very pretty so since we're doing the Viva Glam lipsticks let's do Nikki's nude so now I'm gonna go in with cork and I'm gonna mix cork with chestnut so I'm gonna line all the way around with cork and I'm gonna do chestnut just in the corners because this is more of a peachy kind of tone so it may come off a little light so I'm gonna use chestnut just to like hone in the lipstick you know what I mean to like create that barrier that I'm gonna need so I'm just gonna go in with Nikki's nude and I'm gonna pop that in the center You see how I feel like the brown chestnut, which is a little darker, it just creates that definition you're going to need. But I just feel like that comes with wearing lipstick, honestly. Like, you know what's going to work for you. Like, I could see the vision. I guess because I guess I'm a makeup artist, I could see, like, I know I'm going to need cork for this. I know I'm going to need chestnut for that. I know I'm going to need bittersweet for that. Like, I could have done bittersweet, too. And I could have done Bittersweet alone, and I didn't even grab Bittersweet. I wasn't even thinking about another option as far as a lip liner, but Bittersweet can definitely go with this. And I would leave this just like this. Like, yeah, I mean, I'd be blending it. Just the edges. Now, 
Yeah, but I would literally leave it just like this. Like, you can pop in nude on the top if you wanted to, but I'm a, I like gloss too. So, I can pop right in the middle. Like, so yeah, like, like this is perfect for me. Like, I would so wear this somewhere. Like, a glossy peachy lip with some definition on the corners. So this is Chestnut, Nikki's Nude, and Nude. Yes. So yes, yes, yes. Chestnut, Nikki's Nude, and Nude. Like, bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Let me take this off. So, Nikki's Nudes and the pink print are both the same finish are they no yeah nikki snooze and the pink print is amplified so amplified is more of a creamy consistency so now i'm moving on to the mattes oh my favorite so i'm going to be taking easy babe easy babe looks like this And I'm gonna take it with cork. I'm just gonna line line my lips with cork. And I'm gonna pop Easy Babe right in the center. Like literally, I do everything the same way, whether I'm wearing a nude or a color, because I know what works for me. So I would say play around. And if you know, like you like a darker liner. You like a lighter liner, like try to just implement but switch up the colors and the liners, but to keep the technique the same. So I'm just gonna pop this in the center. And this is pretty like this one you can blot it on. I would blot this on. And I could leave this just like this. If you wanted to, I could pop like nude in the center. Just to give it a little more pop. And that'll be it. So this is chestnut, easy babe, and a little bit of nude as an option. You could keep it matte. I would keep it matte personally. But if I didn't want to keep it matte, I could just pop on nude. Or I could pop on under the sheets because I feel like her tones are kind of similar throughout the whole line so it's like a peachy pinky peachy pinky grayish tone nude so I feel like everything will work with each other so yeah that's cute so it's so another option so now I'm gonna go in with chestnut liner all over no cork this time I'm gonna be going in with a lighter lipstick so I want to keep my definition. It's like that beigey nudie. Ugh. And you see why I went in because it's more lighter. So I need that definition with the liner. And these nudes are really creamy even though they're matte. It's like really really creamy yeah and this is what I can do since this is a neuter kind of a lipstick I would definitely go in with under the sheets since this is a more nudier color y'all know this is me right you know this is me if you follow me on Instagram, YouTube, anywhere. Like, this is Diana. <laughs> Definitely. Let me change my lips. So, this is one of my... I don't know. Like, age, this is age, sex, location.
like i can't explain it, it has like a gray tone listen this is my lipstick y'all like the easy babe combination i just did that's me but i love this i like anything like gray tone on my lips i don't know it's so weird so i'm gonna go in with cork and i'm just gonna line it i don't even go in crazy with the liner because my lips are pretty defined and they're pigmented as well so i just use it as like something to a barrier to keep the lips again so this is age sex location so like a gray tone so me This one, I kind of mix it into the liner. And then I go in and I clean it up on the edges. This one, I would keep just like this. Like, no gloss. I could do a gloss. Gloss will, you know, it won't hurt anyone. It definitely can help you blend the color into your complexion. But this one, I would leave just like this. Yeah, I would leave it just like this you know if I if I wanted to yeah but with the gloss if you were curious to see I would go in with the lighter gloss just to help me brighten it up a little bit more I can definitely go in with nude but I'm gonna go in with under the sheets just to brighten it up a little bit just in the center and yeah this is so me as well so the next lipstick is derriere <laughs> this is more like a brownie orangey ish and to be honest with you derriere can be worn without a liner on me without a gloss and I'll show you and then I'll show you with the liner and the gloss So derriere can be worn just like this and if I just wanted like an even flesh tone just straightforward look this will definitely be it I wouldn't line it I said I was gonna try a liner but I'm not gonna line it that'd be a waste of time I'm gonna go in with nude just to pop a little bit in the center just to show you because the liner is like it's a waste of time but since it's such a orangey-ish brown I think a liner will waste your time so I'm gonna pop nude just in the center just to create some definition so yeah and that is derriere and nude together so I am on to my last lipstick and this is baby all baby's all right yeah baby's all right and this is a matte pink so with this one I'm gonna do cork under the sheets and baby's all right <laughs> so I'm gonna do cork Baby's all right. Baby's all right. <laughs> I'm all right. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> and under the sheets, just to you, I can definitely wear it like this. But I don't know, for some reason, when I do, I don't really do pink nudes. I do more beiges and more browns and more peaches. For some reason, a pink nude, I don't like it on me. I can definitely get away with it. But I just feel like it makes my lips look bigger than they are. Or I don't know. I don't know. It's just, or maybe it's just in my head. But I can definitely go in 
and just create yeah warm it up a little bit more but I'm gonna go in with under the sheets since it's a lighter one And this is what I would wear. I don't know. I just feel ashy with a pink nude. I don't know. But I do snob. But then snob is more like it's not a, I don't know, but whatever. But I would so wear this. Yeah. So Nikki gets a pass for me. I don't got no complaints. I don't have no complaints whatsoever. I'm a nude girl. That's my shit. So, I have no complaints when it comes to Nicki Minaj lipsticks. I welcome them all. I could wear any color, anything. I don't like to be put in a box. I don't like to be like everybody else. I like to be different and fun and adventurous. Like I like my nails and my short hair and my shaved sides and that's just me I don't like to be cookie cutter I'm not a square trying to fit into a circle you know what I mean so that's just me but yeah I love them I love the Nikki nudes thumbs up for me I love them because that's what I normally do so um yeah she gets a thumbs up for me yeah she gets a thumbs up so I hope you guys enjoyed my try on Nicki Minaj lipstick video and until my next video I'm gonna see you later I'm gonna see you soon you know how it is she busy but I'm here I'm here I'm trying to be I'm trying to be back with these videos I'll see you guys later <laughs> I can't I'm crazy